In a groundbreaking announcement, Dallas-based Colossal Biosciences revealed the birth of three dire wolf pups, marking the world's first successful de-extinction of an animal that vanished 12,500 years ago. Meet Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi, pups that embody the spirit of a long-lost predator. But here's the twist. These pups aren't exact clones of the extinct dire wolf. Instead, they are hybrids crafted through cutting-edge gene-editing technology that modifies the genome of the gray wolf, their closest living relative. Scientists extracted ancient DNA from a 13,000-year-old tooth and a 72,000-year-old skull, pinpointing genetic traits that define the dire wolf. Traits like a wider head, a stronger jaw, and that iconic thick fur. Colossal made 20 precise edits across 14 genes in gray wolf cells, resulting in pups that not only look like dire wolves, but also exhibit similar behaviors. Born through cloning, these pups were nurtured in domestic dog surrogates, with the first two males arriving on October 1, 2024, and the female following on January 30, 2025. Currently, they reside in a secure 2,000-acre ecological preserve, complete with zoo-grade fencing and constant monitoring. This facility, certified by the American Humane Society, ensures the highest standards of animal welfare. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Colossal has also cloned four red wolves, showcasing a significant leap in conservation efforts. While some celebrate this scientific marvel, others question whether these animals can truly be called de-extinct. Are they merely genetically modified gray wolves? The debate continues as Colossal plans to reintroduce these creatures into secure ecological preserves, potentially on indigenous lands. The future of these pups and their role in our ecosystems remains an open question. But one thing is clear, the past is making a comeback.